What types of sources are in the library that help you find information on a topic you know little about? Did you think books? Most people do. We also have magazines, newspapers, videos, audiobooks, and more sources of information available in the library. In order to support college level research, you can access credible academic content through our online subscription databases. In the first part of your research project for ENC 1101 online, your task is to choose a controversial topic from the Opposing Viewpoints database and to develop a thesis statement. You can access the databases through the library's website. You just have to know how to get there and how to log in to search. I will show you how to get to the library's databases and log in now. If you are able, please open a new window on your computer and keep this video up in a separate window. This way you can follow along as I give you instructions to locate and log into the databases. Control plus N will open a new window. Then if you click on restore down on each window, you can place them side by side. Pause the video and set up your computer so you can view this video and navigate to the databases in another window. Starting out at the IRSC homepage, you can get to the library website by clicking quick links and then libraries in the top right corner. Next, click on databases by subject. Now you will have to log in. Before you do, please note that your PIN for the library is different from your IRSC PIN or Blackboard PIN. Your borrower ID is your student ID and your PIN is the month and day of your birth. If your birthday is January 28, then your PIN is 0128. Once you are logged in, you will see a listing of subjects. The database we need for the research project is listed under Current Events. Click on Current Events and then click on Opposing Viewpoints. This database makes it easy to pick a topic as it lists some current and controversial topics under Browse Issues. Click on Browse Issues to see a list of these topics. The topics listed here are very broad and your job in the first assignment is to use the database to help you narrow down your choice to a viewpoint or one side of an argument that is tied to a broad topic. For example, let me show you how this works. If you are interested in mental health in general, you can read an overview of this topic by clicking on Read More to start to get some ideas on what specific aspects you would want to focus on within this broader topic. Then if you go back one page, you can click on Viewpoints to see over 100 articles that have information on various controversial points of view as it relates to mental health. As you can see, this list of viewpoints can help narrow your focus. I could explore issues related to the care given to military veterans and how that helps with PTSD, or I could explore adolescent mental health issues or the use of animals in mental health therapy programs. If you see a viewpoint you like, click on the title to read the article associated with this topic in order to help you in the discovery process. If you find that the first topic you selected is not a controversial issue you would like to explore in this project, then you would return to the main page and select another potential topic. Let's review those steps. I am going to go back to the main page and show you one other broad topic and how to use the sources in it to narrow down your topic. Click on Browse Issues and then look through the list of possibilities. Choose something else that interests you. I am going to select Food Insecurity. Then click on Read More for the Topic Overview. This is going to give you the background information you need to post your brief reflection on what you have learned and explain why this topic matters to you. Through your review of this topic, you will be able to propose your working thesis statement. Take time now to review the wide range of controversial topics available to you in this database in order to complete the step of your research project.